<laughs> the wonderful movie Sideways introduced many of us to the art of wine tasting. Jay McInerney has been practicing that art for over 30 years. We know him from his novels like the 80s classic Bright Lights, Big City, but he's also one of the best wine critics around. And he's put his best essays, best essays about wine into a new book. It is called The Juice, Venus Veritas. Jay McInerney, welcome. Good morning. Uh, you do have a love affair with wine. I do. Uh, it actually started uh, when I was writing my first novel back in the uh, 80s. I was studying uh, with Raymond Carver, the, great, the, Raymond the Carver. great short story writer uh, at Syracuse University. And, it, and I got a job at a wine store to make ends meet as a, as a clerk. And, um, and I slowly I would take a bottle home with me every night. That was the tradition among the clerks. And, yeah. uh, and I started browsing in the library that the owner had there. And um, um, it just, uh, it just, just became a hobby and that it was became a passion that got out of control. That one <laughs> that night of some, from a special event was Matus Rosé? Uh, well, that was actually my, my, probably my first great wine experience. It was also my first real date. I was, uh, took, uh, took my true love to a restaurant in Lenox, Massachusetts. It was called The Log Cabin. And I, and I very proudly ordered the only bottle I knew on the list, which was Matus Rosé. Remember what was that? So oh, yeah. I, I love that. Actually, I that remember That shaped well. bottle. And, uh, and it was very popular at the time. Right. And I must say, I felt very sophisticated. And, and I can also honestly say, I'm not sure that I've ever enjoyed a wine more than I did that night. Help me understand, Jay, because I will confess I'm not a, I don't drink, I don't really, I don't know anything about wine between Boone's Farm Strawberry Hill and the <laughs> Matus Rosé that I know, Ooh. cringe, wins. you look like you've been a lemon, right, or we, the, the Matus that you We're, we're going we're gonna to need more time than this. <laughs> no, so here's my question. You take this home for we can read. No, I did, I did. I'm still, I'm still like, is this book in English? Exam to follow. So, so no, how do you but, help us understand the pleasure, and I know, I know, that I know some very serious wine drinkers, the pleasure that it gives you. Well, yes. well, in fact, the pleasure of it. Not only is the book in English, but yeah. I, like, I like to think it is in a language which is uh, a, a common vernacular. Uh, when, the is. reason that I decided to, to do this, uh, my friend Dominique Browning, who was editing House and Garden some years ago, uh, asked me to write about wine. And I said, I, I really don't, I'm not an expert. And she said, she said, that's the point. She said, most wine writing seems to be directed at experts. It's either very technical or else it's very horticultural. Yeah. Now, frankly, as much as I loved wine at the time, I didn't know what malolactic fermentation was, and I didn't know what any flower smelled like in particular. And I thought that there was room for a type of wine writing that wasn't either of these things. And um, my idea was to come up with a new set of, of metaphors and, well, you, um, you know, it. comparing wines to actresses, to pop songs, yes. well, to, to automobiles. We just put rather up on than, the screen right, right, right. that when I came across in the book, it made me think of Gail because Gail loves The Rock, yes. if you don't know this, okay. and you describe Zinfandel as the rock in a velvet smoking jacket. That's, I, that was the, my description for a particular yes. Zinfandel. But I think, you know, I, I think for most people that, con that conjures something more, more vivid than talking about Blackberry and hyacinth, yeah, you know. Right. I a, mean, and a I, flutter I, of and frankly, cheese. And frankly, I'm not very good at that sort of description. And 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 as a reader of wine writing, when I when I was trying to learn about wine, I, I felt there was, I felt a lot of it was Greek to Be, me. Before you leave, Jay, because. I, I have to ask you about Riel Hunter, at the, the risk of being a nosy rosy. But it's been reported, and you've written about it too, that one of your characters was based about, upon Riel Hunter, who was now front and center of the John Edwards case at the time. She was Lisa Druck. What do you make of where she is today? Well, you two I, dated briefly. Well, you know, I, I, I knew her in the 80s, and I, uh, she inspired, um, okay. uh, uh, she and her friends inspired a book that I wrote called Story of My Life. Um, and. Uh, we um, we had a we had a lot of fun back then, and I uh, honestly, I mean, I wish her I wish her well now, and I I'm I, you know I'm I'm concerned for her. I hope she uh, I hope she comes out of this yeah. and, and has and has a great life ahead of her.